Hello, I'm here today to do a very quick book talk. Some of the Friends of Wonderlies decided to read a book together during Band Books Week. Like a month ago because I have my stuff together and I thought I recorded this video but I just imagined it or deleted it. And this was our choice. Go Ask Alice by Anonymous. I read the library copy and whilst I'm in the library, I cannot be bothered to go upstairs and get the library copy, hashtag lazy, but it doesn't have a cover anyway so this will do. Go Ask Alice was originally published in 1971 under the alleged name Anonymous. It was later revealed that it was actually authored by Beatrice Sparks. This novel is presented as a real-life journal of an ordinary girl who accidentally takes drugs one night and then spirals into a life of addiction. This novel was kind of hard to get into at first. I found the voice annoying and somewhat off, but I just summed it up to the fact that this girl is writing in her diary. She's not really a writer. Fine. But somewhere along the way, I discovered that this diary was not a diary at all, but a novel. And that completely changed my opinion on this book. It felt like this novel was a scare tactic. Don't do drugs or you'll end up like this. Fellow friend of Wonderly, Jen of Technicolor Moments on YouTube, nailed it on the head when she compared this novel to propaganda. I'll put the video where she mentions this book in the description below, of course. As if it was not bad enough that this author was trying to scare people into doing the right thing, the writing was pretty horrendous. I mean, if you're going to write a fake story and present it as real, you have all of the creative control over it, so at least make it a decent story. The story, voice, and writing were not believable, relatable, or interesting. I will admit, at a certain point in the novel, even though I knew how the book was going to end and that it wasn't real, I did kind of get invested in this. But Overall, I would not recommend this book. There are better novelizations of drug-addicted teens out there. I haven't read any that quite fit that bill in a while, but as a teenager I did. And who knows, maybe 13-year-old Susie would have loved this book. I don't know. Regardless, please recommend me and everyone else in the comments below some good novelizations of drug-addicted teens. Please. I've not really looked forward to making this talk because I'm the kind of person who likes to put positivity out into the world, so I don't like to openly say negative things. But honesty is important, right? Well, that's all for today. Hopefully the next book talk will be more of a positive one. And I hope to see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.